You see, submit. You, you, you realize the scripture I read? Anyone huh, that will be above a child will not enter into the kingdom. Mm. Now, Eli was very old. And he heard everything his sons did to, the, to all Israel. And how they lay with the woman who assembled at the door of the tabernacle of meeting. I saw them. I'm still in Ghana. I think the Ghana anointing is there. In the church home. So where was the lie when the children started in the church? Now that they are out there to disgrace you. Now that okay, move on, let's move on. So he said to them, look at his advice. Why do you do such things? If your child has already turned to become an armed robber, and you are telling the child, why do you do such things? I know what's supposed to happen. Thank God God intervened. In my situation, like I'll go. Even I promise some people I'm going to travel and I'm not going to look for property. What I'm going to look for is a gun. So, whereas others are looking for property, I'm looking for a gun just to come and display. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't put your children in that category. Hmm. When it needs you locking them in the room and discipline them, do it. When you bring police to me, the thing I'll tell police eh? <laughs> they'll take me home. <laughs> I will ask the police, do you want to increase crime? Are you not tired of going after armed robbers every day? It's because there's no training. Oh. If I get to the TV, eh? I'm not going to be preaching like any other man preaching. The government will get his own. When training has ceased in the schools, training has ceased in the homes, when you are giving the, the, the fathers and the mothers licenses to destroy the children, they are to take over the nation. And put the evil money in the police because there's more crime. Put the money in discipline the children and reduce the police. No, they don't like it. <laughs> Look at that. So why do you do such things? For I hear of your evil dealings from all the people. No, my sons. For it is not a good report that I hear. You make the lost people transgress. An old man. And that you are old, you know how to advise. <laughs> you see, your children will not take any advice when you refuse to train them. Because you have not trained them to take advice. So how dare you try to advise somebody that you have corrupt, all in the name of love? What kind of love is that? Media, if your children jump to me, I will discipline them. <laughs> they know me anyway. <laughs> and they are all my friends too. <laughs> because I don't discipline you for you to hate me. I discipline you for you to love me. I will let you understand the extent of which you have behaved. And that's why I beat you. And I will give you toffee. Tell you I love you. <laughs> so when you are eating, you are crying, you are eating the toffee. You are your tears. Then you will know that this man truly loves me. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Uh, I know you don't like this message. I told you this one doesn't attract too much in me. Like by this time, the whole place should be charming with him. Amen. Yeah, you see, that's how far they can do. And they can go. Hallelujah. So God said something to Eli. I want you to hear this. 
the first Samuel 2 27 to 30. Mm. The man of God came to Eli and said to him, Thou seest the Lord. Did I not clearly reveal myself to the house of your father when they were in Egypt, in Pharaoh's house? The answer is what? Yes. Okay, let's move on. Did I not choose him out of all the tribes of Israel to be my priest, to offer upon my altar, to burn incense, that's prayer, and to wear the effort before me? And did I not give to the house of your father all the offerings, meaning blessings, of the children of Israel made by fire? The answer is what? Yes. yes. Has God not blessed you enough? Has he not brought you from that far village? Has he not done enough? Huh? Look at it. Look at what God said. Painful. Bring it up. Why do you kick at my sacrifice and my offering, which I have commanded in my dwelling place, and honor your sons more than me? Hey! If you don't train your son, that means God is telling you, you have honored the gift he has given to you more than him who gave you the gift. Why? 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 Why have you honored your sons more than me to make yourself fat with the best of the offerings of Israel, my people? Why? Why have you disappointed me? <coughs> Haven't I been good enough? Again, the time is gone. There's a lot, but let me let me just conclude it with this. And God, God has brought this advice and this training. It is because He has intention. He has to bless you. Amen. He has to surprise you this year. Amen. So he has to line you up. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I say he has to do what? Line, line you up. up. So go, don't get angry with God. When you have made decisions for failure, and now you are blaming God for everything. Lord, why this? Why that? It's the same decision you made. You have made a decision not to do anything in the house. You have made a decision to repel. You've made a decision not to pay your tithe. You've made a decision to bring weak offerings. You've made a decision to pray to God at your weakest moment. When you are tired, when the government has taken their strength, and your wife too has taken her part, and then you give the rest to God. So you, you, at the moment you go on your knees, ho ho, ho ho, ho ho, ho ho. You wake up, Lord, I thank you, I thank you. I thank you for your grace, in Jesus' name. Amen. I don't know what is happening. You give God weak things. A strong God, he doesn't need anything from you. He just wants to give you the opportunity for you to experience his surprise. He yes. said, heaven is my throne and the earth is my footstool. What can man give to me? Has not my hands made all that man can give to me? How can you give God? Think the, the pastors need your money. 
pastors, we are not on salary. God is blessing us. Amen. So when God gives you an opportunity to invest in your own future, do it with joy. Amen. Can I hear a bigger amen to that? Can I hear a bigger amen to that? Can I hear a bigger amen to that? Tell your neighbor, get ready for a surprise. Hmm. Let's look at the surprise. And we are closing with this. A gentleman was surprised. Hallelujah. Because he was called to the king's table. I see God bringing you to his table. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. I say, get ready for a surprise. Amen. Get ready for the good investment Amen. of your generation. Hallelujah. Amen. Of your forefathers. That is what God told me, that he's going to multiply the investment of your fathers. He intentionally has to hinder those blessings from coming on to your fathers. Amen. They have made some investment, but it is for you. Amen. So you are due for those investments. Amen. That's why the devil is working so hard that you'll be in discipline so that you don't care what you do to God. But thank God for the message that has come that is lining all and verse up. Hallelujah. For so God to reign, surprise on us. I see Jehovah reigning surprise on your business, reigning surprise on your family, on your children. I see God doing marvelous things. Hallelujah. Things that you, you see, what God can do to you. The government even will be surprised. Yes. You know that God can command somebody out of the person's will to come and bless you. Yes. And when they finish blessing you, they regret. Yes. If God can regret, yes. people can regret of blessing you. Yes. But it is too late, they have blessed you. Yes. That's the God we are talking about. Yes. He created a problem in the palace and put the answer in prison. Yes. So Joseph was needed. With the convoy. Oh, you don't understand. Yeah. I see your blessing in the convoy. Yeah. I see God organizing people to come and bless you. Yeah. I see a decision being made in heaven. Yeah. Just because of this message. Hallelujah. Yeah. That God is going to throw blessing at you. Yeah. This 2013, all you need is to be determined that, that you are going to turn the regrets of God around. Yeah. You know them in your business. You know them in your family. You know them in everywhere. All the things that God can cause God to regret. It is your duty this year that enough is enough, Satan. I am turning the regrets of Jehovah around in the name of Jesus Christ. I don't want to go down there again. Let's, let's be on our feet. God was able to call me for Pastor was talking about saying, This man is going to preach my message. Hallelujah. Yeah.